higher than expected earnings just moments ago. Now joining us by phone is Alan Gould, analyst and managing director at Loop Capital. So, so beats on the numbers, uh, including the all-important user numbers, Alan, but you don't like the stock. Why? Yeah, I've had it. Had a sell on the rating. Listen, the, the numbers were good, and the guidance for 1Q and 2020 uh, were good. Uh, our negative view on the stock has been a combination of valuation and the potential competition. Um, the stock is trading at you know, 15 times this year's platform revenue, which seems pretty high to us when you're competing against the likes uh, of Amazon. I mean, people always say that the competition, the competition, and yet Roku seems to continually benefit from all the streamers, the Disney Pluses and everyone else. And it's going up against some pretty tough competition like Amazon Fire and Google Chromecast. How has it been able to do that? I said the way, the way it's done, it's, it's had a better operating system. It's worked well with the Chinese manufacturers of the television sets, uh, TCL traditionally in the U.S. Now they're using Hisense. Uh, over in the UK, I mean they've done they've done a very good job. But remember, the stock was up it's up about 185 percent on a trailing 12 month basis. You know, so the stock's almost tripled over the last year, and we just think it's fully valued in here. Yeah, oh, I get that certainly. I mean, 1.1 billion in revenues in 2019, but they are looking towards 1.6 billion next year. Again, to your point, Alan, the multiple to revenues is enormous, but. They are talking about 42% year-over-year growth in revenues. That's what investors like to pay for. Do you think they're not going to hit that target this year? Um, uh, frankly, David, they've been they've typically beaten their targets, and they've typically raised their targets as the year has gone on. You know, the consensus was looking for you know, $1.56 billion of revenue for 2020, so their guide of 1.58 to 1.62 is actually ahead of consensus. So it's a strong guy. So who comes along and really represents competition that they haven't already seen and makes a real dent in their continued ability to grow? Well, for example, Peacock, uh, your parent company. Um, uh, Comcast is giving out Comcast Flex, which is a device to broadband only homes, which looks somewhat similar to a, a Roku device. Peacock will have is an ad. It's a free service, meaning it's ad-driven. Yeah, NBCU knows how to drive advertising. So you may see some competition from the traditional cable operators and uh, uh, Apple TV, Amazon, Chromecast from the, tradi from the uh, Internet players. You have an $80 price target. It's trading at uh, almost 150 in after hours. Yeah, it was 120 a couple days ago. So, yes, I recognize that. Uh -huh. uh, Alan, thank you.